Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in VSWR and reflection coefficient. Before going to solve the problems, let's discuss important formulas to be used. Standing wave ratio that is also known as VSWR. S is equal to 1 plus K divided by 1 minus K that is also equal to V max to V min. K represents the reflection coefficient. So here K is equal to S minus 1 divided by S plus 1. Another one formula is ZR minus Z0 divided by ZR plus Z0. So here K can also be defined using the formula V max minus V min divided by V max plus V min. Okay. Next the maximum impedance of the transmission line given as R max is equal to S into Z0 that is equal to S into R0. Okay. Similarly, minimum impedance of the transmission line is R min is equal to Z0 by S or R0 by S. Okay, so these are the formulas. First problem, a lossless line has a characteristic impedance of 400 ohms. Determine the standing wave ratio if the receiving end impedance is 800 plus J 0.0 ohm. First, we have to write the given data. The characteristics impedance Z0 is equal to 400 ohm. The receiving end impedance Z0 is equal to 800 plus J 0, 0.0 ohm. So here they have given only the real part. So here it is 0 in imaginary part. We have to find out the standing wave ratio. Yes, S is equal to what? 1 plus K divided by 1 minus K. We have to find out this k first, then we have to substitute that value in this formula to get the standing wave. Okay. So k is equal to what? Zr minus Z0 divided by Zr plus Z0. In the solution part, first we have to find out the reflection coefficient value k is equal to Zr minus Z0 divided by Zr plus Z0. We can simply substitute those values here. So 800 minus 400 divided by 800 plus 400, the k value is 0.33. After that we can substitute this value in this formula S is equal to 1 plus K divided by 1 minus K. So here it is 1 plus 0.33 divided by 1 minus 0.33 that is equal to 1.985. This is the answer. Okay. Next problem. Find the reflection coefficient and VSWR values for the transmission line which is perfectly matched with its characteristics impedance. First, we have to write the given data for a perfectly matched line. The receiving end impedance is equal to the characteristics impedance. That's what given in this problem. Okay. We are going to find out the reflection coefficient and standing wave ratio. So in the solution part, we can use the formula K is equal to Zr minus Z0 divided by Zr plus Z0. Here Zr is equal to Z0. Then we can get the k value as 0. If it is 0, no reflection takes place. After that, we can substitute this value here. 1 plus 0 divided by 1 minus 0. The answer is S is equal to 1. Do you all understand this? For a perfectly matched line, k value is 0, S value is 1. Next one, a 50 ohm coaxial cable feeds a 75 plus J20 ohm dipole antenna. Find the reflection coefficient and standing wave ratio. Also find the maximum impedance and the minimum impedance for the given cable. Okay. So here we have to write the given data. Z0 value is 50 ohm. That is the characteristics impedance. Receiving end impedance is equal to 75 plus J20. We have to find out the reflection coefficient, standing wave. R max and R min values. So here we can start with this reflection coefficient k is equal to Zr minus Z0 divided by Zr plus Z0. We can simply substitute these values. So 75 plus J20 minus 50 divided by 75 plus J20 plus T. We can get the value as 25 plus J20 divided by 125 plus J20. We can subtract the real terms and add the real terms together. Then we can get K is equal to 25 plus J20 divided by 125 plus J20. It is in rectangular form. We cannot use rectangular form for division. So we have to convert 
this rectangular form into polar form. For that we can use calculator. Okay. We can use calculator to convert rectangular to polar form. Here mode should be in degree mode. Okay. So you can press this mode and there is a degree 1. Okay. So press 1. Then we can press the shift and then plus symbol. So we can see there is a polar coordinate. After that we can give the real term. What is the real term? 25. Then the imaginary term. So for that we can press comma symbol and then give 20. Imaginary value. Close the bracket and press equal symbol. Okay. Then we can get the value as 32.0156. We can consider 4 decimal places and then we can get the face value. So for that face we can press this alpha and 10. You can see the F symbol then press equal. This is the face value 38.66. Do you all understand? So this is the polar form of this rectangular coordinate. The same way you can get it for the denominator value that is shift plus symbol polar then we can give the real term 125 comma the imaginary term 20 close the bracket press equal you can see 126.5899 okay 126.5899 okay then we can press alpha and 10 okay then equal we can get the degree as 9.09 do you all understand this? After converting into polar coordinates, we have to consider only the magnitude because we can take the magnitude of reflection coefficient. So we can take only the magnitude values 32.0156 divided by 126.5899 that is equal to 0.2529. So this is the reflection coefficient value. After that, we can substitute that value in the standing wave ratio formula. S is equal to 1 plus k divided by 1 minus k. So, substitute this value here. We can get the answer as 1.677. Okay. So, we have calculated the reflection coefficient as well the standing wave ratio. Then, we can find out the maximum line impedance that is R max is equal to S into Z naught. S value is what? 1.677. Is that not value is 50? We can get the answer as 83.85. Similarly, we can get the minimum line impedance. Is that not by S? The answer is 29.81 ohm. Okay.